Hey, what's going on, guys? Code Monkey Games here. You know, like in web scraping, it's incredibly important to make sure that you're picking up uh, right sites to scrape. Uh, those sites that you can scrape relatively uh, in an easy way, and to make sure that they would be working in your client's production, so you won't be having any issues with like getting banned or uh, something like that. So, when I, uh, when I, in particular, when I'm taking a new project to to deliver uh, as, an web, uh, as a web script and expert, uh, I always walk through some sort of some sort of a steps to verify whether the current given site that is supposed to get scraped by, by my script that I'm supposed to be writing in future, is that reliable actually or not? So in this video, I'm going to show you what steps in particular I'm taking in order to actually answer the very simple question, will I take this job? Or not so will I take this site to, to, to scrape it or not a little bit uh, a little background before we start uh, uh, I'm working uh, with this current client that uh, actually sent me this size for uh, it's not since this spring basically it's more it's more than half a year already believe it or not yeah or for about yeah six months or something or seven months maybe doesn't matter and eventually, well, first we were trying to scrape like uh, every site that he wanted me to scrape. I was I was creating a script and scraping that, but the problem was that some of those we we had to drop some of those because they were not, they were not really that stable, and many sites uh, actually banned the scripts, and that was a total disaster. So uh, that's the reason why I actually offered a new way of doing things, so we could have just make sure that first we could we could, we could make, sure, make sure that site is actually working uh properly in terms of it allows you to scrape itself uh relatively uh in an easy way uh, as i was mentioning already and if it is so and also it, if it does fit all the uh all the requisites in that case we go in and scrape we go and scrape it otherwise we just drop it and try to find some another one so that's how I work in particular, and I just wanted to, I just wanted to share with you guys uh, the process of uh, considering one or another site to scrape for, well, in this case, for either for Brazil or for uh, Argentina. So without further ado, let's actually start. So I have two sites for Brazil and three sites for Argentina. Uh, in this video, uh, I would be picking one of this one, uh, one of these sites. I didn't yet have a look at them, uh, I swear. So this this would be completely the live process of how this kind of happens. And without further ado, let's actually start. So I just grab the very first site, go into my browser, paste in the link in, and the very first and probably the most initial thing before anything else for me to consider is. Uh, to figure out whether the property listen actually contains a latitude and longitude coordinates uh, or not. Because if it doesn't contain those coordinates, uh, no need to scrape this website because without those, it, it's not going to be working for clients' needs. So, I'm uh, just wondering, do they have some sort of a shortcut links for... Uh, for the subregions of the country, they don't, and I, I and I, I don't, I don't like this site already, to be honest. Okay, so Brazil, what's the capital of Brazil? It's Rio, apparently. So let's have a look. Well, maybe at least in this weird way. Yeah. Uh, another, another thing, whether to whether to consider a site or not, is if it supports uh, a nice uh, links on the uh, on the starting page to make sure that we can navigate through. The regions. This one uh, doesn't seem to have that. But anyway, so I just oh wait, where did I go? No, not like this. I just want to go to a property list in itself. Okay, this is it. Okay, so they have a map which most likely means that probably, probably there should be the latitude and longitude coordinates. So I just want to find search for latitude. So not like this, uh, not like this, longitude, yeah, well this is a little bit unfortunate, so uh, now I don't like this site even more because I don't see how they, so may maybe they input, yeah, probably they use the bare address as an input to Google Maps API, 
Okay, let's try to figure that out. Okay, what we have regarding the map. Okay, API key. Map. Okay, yeah, I don't see any latitude or longitude, unfortunately. Uh, because it it's it something like... Uh, say longitude it might be longitude like this it might it, not, it might be long it might be lng as well oh hold on a sec this is it i just found this okay okay so we have the map latitude and map longitude which is already good this this is located within the javascript which is a little bit pain to extract from but anyway this is possible so yeah so yeah this side even though yeah even though it's kind of like not that not that easy stuff but yeah as far as it does have this coordinates it's not doomed yet so i would rather have a look uh as far as i'm right over in here already i'm just wondering what about the selectors so do i have the html do i have the html selectors or i would have been need uh, uh, or i'll need to extract the data from okay from javascript entirely uh okay let's have a look dave class advice text let's have a look okay uh Okay. Well, it seems like, yeah, it seems like at least the HTML selector seems to be available here, which is not that bad. Well, <coughs> well, at least it seems to be more or less uh, fitting the purposes uh, of why this data is, is actually getting scraped. Okay. Okay. So let's go for another. Uh, but for the next text, for, for, for the next next test. Uh, so I'm just going to my scrapey shell and the very first thing I'll try to do, I'll try to make uh, an ongoing HTTP request to this particular URL endpoint to see uh, whether it gets blocked uh, based on the fact that uh, by default, my, my request would have the scrapey in the headers uh, in regards to user agent. So does it really explicitly oh sorry what have i done uh forbids this by blocking the scrapey bot or not so that's that's another test i'm making all the time so i just want to fetch and have a look okay yeah uh response 400 uh, 003 yeah uh, this this means that at most like well so let's have a look what they what they tell us Probably, please enable cookies. Yeah. Okay, this is not really, really that great. Well, obviously, obviously, I can enable cookies. It's not a problem at all. But the problem is, uh, the problem is that those sites that does you does rely on cookies when you when you scraping them would most likely get your script banned sooner sooner or later because all those verification tokens updatable cookies and all this stuff so it's not it's not a problem to provide all, all of that functionality it's just a matter of you spending too much too much time on doing that while you're not getting paid more for that and at the same time you kind of like having uh more issues because the script would be uh would get broken all the time so well i think that most likely after seeing this message i'm not gonna be uh dealing with this site at all but uh anyway i'll need to consider one of this uh, one of these two so uh let me have a look at the second site so maybe that would be a little bit better another general rule as i've been already mentioning before in one of my previous videos that uh the more uh if the site is well known, it's more likely uh, for it to be uh, secured 
much better compared to those sites that are not well known. So yeah, this one wants me to, to grab the cookies as well. Well, I'll, I'll try to wait that for a while. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, so do we have some locations? Yeah, this is now this is much better. So we have this short shortcut links, shortcut links to the subregions in Brazil. Yeah, I really like it. So start 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 liking this site from now on. Okay, then let's have a look basically at. Yeah, let's just pick up some random uh, property. Trying to check for latitude and longitude. Well, maybe maybe before let's try to check for. Uh, whether it would get scraped or not. Okay, the same, same unfortunate stuff, but the error might be different. So let's have a look at the response still, I'm wondering. Okay, website is using security service to protect uh, itself from online attacks. Well, okay uh at least doesn't seem that it it doesn't explicitly say that it relies on cookies okay here it might be worth trying to spoof the user agent okay uh just before doing that so this emovel okay i just i just want to i just i just want to check out the uh, check out the robots.txt to see whether some explicit, uh, whether, whether whether it forbids explicitly to, to get scraped. So emovel. Okay. Doesn't seem so. What are, what are these guys? I'm wondering. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. This this is a bit of an uh, of, of an unfortunate stuff, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Is this a particular property? This is very interesting. Is this a particular property? I've never seen I've never seen this low enough Oh no, it's not, it's not a particular list and yeah, it's just or or is it? I never seen this in a robots.txt file before to be honest. Yeah, this is a property listing believe it or not. Whoa. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit unfortunate as well. Uh well, uh, let's see if I don't know. I just I just really like this site, so maybe uh, just go into network, update the page. Okay, updating the page. Uh, I'll now try to use the custom user agent from uh, one that is my browser actually that represents my browser to see if it's gonna be working or not copy so let's say import scrapey and I say fetch and scrapey dot request and the haters I don't like this so URL here and then the haters equals to okay okay so what okay just like this this and like this and now let me just try to make an another request well most likely it won't make uh anything but hold on a sec does it work just in that easy way Let's have a look at the response. Whoa. Is there 
protection from online attacks is all about <laughs> all regards to just checking out the user agent that's a little bit unfortunate stuff to be honest okay okay so let's have a look let's have a look at again like latitude not available like this okay longitude okay this is it so we get some coordinates yeah really nice again like within the javascript but it's not a problem i will extract it from there quite easily okay okay so seems to be not that bad at all uh i don't know maybe mm, okay let's try some sort of a let's try let's try well probably not really that great idea to be scraping this side but well i could have actually try a very simple no no uh, 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 user agent spoofing won't help in the previous side because it relies on cookies okay okay so what to consider i, ju I just want to pick up some region just want to pick up some region let's say here okay hold on a second you fetching from the api this is a little bit unfortunate okay let's have a look yeah probably it's fetching the data from from the api i believe no no i don't want to navigate there don't yeah it's just better better search by uh by the elements so how about this one copy and paste okay hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry guys okay so probably not that bad at all okay 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 so let's try uh, uh hold on a second i just, just want to make sure uh regarding the number of pages so what's okay oh my god w what a complicated url here oh no does it does it involve coordinates within the url i don't really like when things like this are happening but okay well let's try to get this link as well okay and so where is the pagination okay here it is so here i would like to say plus and stringifying the page and i want to make it within the loop so let's say let's say uh no not like this uh better like this uh for page okay so now it should be going with through so let's let's explicitly say from one to six so should make up to five requests now 
Okay, first is going seemingly fine. I don't know why my internet connection is so slow. Did I pay for internet? When will when we will have to use user agent? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Surprisingly this video <laughs> shows when when do we when will when will we have to use user agent? Yeah. Uh we need to use user agent every time when you're getting banned. If uh like with like in case of this site, well uh this is this is very instructive. So when do we need to use user agent? Every time we're getting banned uh by the user agent that's that's when we need to use the user agent okay so it seems like uh all of this all of this thing's been scraped more or less nicely mm. you know like uh it's all about the question of whether you know like you, you're just kind of taking time and effort to create a web scrape or it takes really time and effort and if it's not gonna get work it's not not gonna get working in future. It's kind of like pointless uh, uh, spending of time and effort. So that's the reason why I need to make sure that if I if I am about to spend this time and effort to read this web scrape or that it wouldn't be working in future. That's that's the simple idea basically. Well, okay. So I pretty like how this site works. Doesn't seem to be very well known as well okay so probably okay Vinda. uh i also need to check uh robots txt uh, anyway it, it, it should get indexed by the search engine somehow so okay well it seems like to be uh protecting some specific specific properties which is so weird i've never seen that before it just d doesn't really want to s the user to scrape the particular list of properties which is not a big deal really but it doesn't say it doesn't seem to be given any explicit restrictions regarding uh the general crawling basically and this is quite pretty nice so Google Google bot is allowed, yeah. So it's mentioned at very list. Yeah, not that bad. So anything about scrapey here, not even mentioned as explicitly as the user agent not to use. Well, so yeah, it seems to be that it might might be might be scraped quite pretty easily. Well, okay, guys, so uh, here is my conclusion regarding at least these two sites uh, from Brazil. So I'm not going to be scraping this one because dealing with cookies, even though I can I can handle that, but I will make a working scraper. But then what? It just walks through, I don't know, a couple of thousands requests and then gets banned forever and that's it. So, you know, like you're not getting paid for <laughs> run, run the scraper once, you're getting paid for make it work for for months i don't know for for weeks at the least so yeah and this one seems to be quite pretty easy to scrape well uh, uh, i'm i'm a little bit concerned with, with that uh with those restrictions but yeah saying that we're protecting against online attacks and only using the user agent detection as the security measure is is a bit of a fun to be honest but anyway thankfully to that primitive measure it seems to be that this site is actually scrapable so i think uh i will now just create a scrape for this one and yeah probably i will make <clears throat> another live stream on how am i supposed to be working on this real world project yeah so if it doesn't work for my client at very least i will make another video for you guys to show how to make this web scraping jobs okay so this is it from my site i uh, hope to see you in the next video until that time
and take care.